Hey Brains, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. This week we're going to continue with something we started last week, which is Crayola craft kits. In the trash! In the trash! I don't want to talk about this. But you have to- No, it hurt my feelings. I know, but in order for us to heal, we must talk about our feelings. I don't wanna. You must. I don't. At your own pace. Okay. <laughs> Crayola did, in fact, break our heart because all three craft kits that we tested last week, you know what they did? You know where they went? In the trash! So we're really curious to know if three more Crayola craft kits are, um... Gonna break our hearts. And what I do they know, do? I don't know if I can take another heartbreak. You don't know? You don't I, know? I, I don't, I don't. That's two I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Oh. You want a hug? Okay. Come here, pumpkin. <laughs> oh, no, don't cry! <laughs> By the way, joining me today is my sister Sika. Yo. And she loves snacks. And the hashtag feed Sika is always in effect. Do you have food for me? I actually forgot to feed you today. I'll give That's you a crime. I'll feed you later. No. The deal is I'm fed before. Because or else my tummy's gonna. <laughs> I don't like licorice. <laughs> licorice candy? Blah. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll give you burgers later. Our first craft kit is Crayola Craft Food Charms. Your grains know I love clay so much. So I love when you take so when food. you food so when it has you food in it. Are you done? Yeah, I got it out. So when you take clay and food, <laughs> I almost hit your face. <laughs> I figured that would happen. They become simpatico. 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 So, uh, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to leave you hanging. <laughs> And you break them up. No, 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 don't put me on the same no. like level as no, Crayola. You, 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 f up. Oh, you, you watch your mouth. Where's my burgers? <laughs> I was like, where's what? I'm looking. Where's what? Our second kit is Silly Putty Nuggets Mix and Lab. Nowhere on the front of the box does this say Crayola. However, when you look in the back, which we will do that later on, it is actually a Crayola craft kit. Did you say nuggets? What is this like food video without actual food? I, I did not know so that's I so just, true. I got gifted. I didn't do it on purpose. Do I get nuggets too? You want nuggets? Kind of. Now that it's been mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> And last but not least is Crayola Signature Make Your Own Shadow Box Art. For those of you who didn't know, Crayola actually had a subscription box that was $50. And I feel like now what they're doing is they are pretty much recycling the ideas that they had in that Crayola subscription box and repackaging them, but much cheaper. Okay. So I'm curious to see how mm. that one is. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're like, mm. 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 yeah, it looks super fancy. <laughs> like, it's like super furniture. 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 Are you a Sims? Yes, I am a Sims. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, we are going to wave a sharp, pointy thing. So make sure you, while you're there, you click on all notifications. I decided to put it on. <laughs> it's gone now. It's okay. gone. Okay. <laughs> Let us know which kit do you have the least hope on. I'm going to say the putty kit. I'm thinking the shadow box one. Our first kit. Not victim this time. Hmm, gonna be a victim. We will see. Okay, I don't like to judge too quickly. Mm -hmm. You're already there. It really must have hurt you. Mm -hmm. Crayola, don't you hurt my sister again. Otherwise, I will beat you. I will protect her. She's strong. She my precious baby. Oh, wow. Nobody gonna touch her. You okay? She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my five foot tall. <laughs> oh no! I'm two inches taller than you. Oh no! <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow! <laughs> Don't ever be taller than me. Yeah, no, she doesn't like it. I apparently grew two inches out of nowhere. Adult. As an adult, I'm now taller than her, and she called me a. <laughs> whoa, whoa! She called me. Don't call me out. The beach. <laughs> I miss traveling. I know, me too. Crayola Craft Food Charms made with model magic. Made with food? Food charms. Okay. You cannot eat it. It's non-toxic though. Okay, so it's edible. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it into consideration. <laughs> This kit looks really adorable, and it cost me $9.99. Hmm. It's not that expensive. Yeah. I'm really excited about the drizzle that looks like strawberry kind of sparkly yumminess. So we'll see how long something like that takes to dry. And if it even dries nicely. That's right. Or if it even arrived already hardened. Ooh. We've seen that happen. Yes. And what did it do? It broke it in our hearts. Yes. Hearts. Our, our hearts. I love the expression with the googly eyes of the charms. They look very uncertain. Yeah, it's almost like the purple one is saying, Am I food? Am I edible? Why is this toy talking? 
When we turn the box around, it looks like it is pretty complete. I don't know why Crayola doesn't write on its kit. Inclu <laughs> what were you doing? I was thinking in a breath to get ready. I was like, uh. <laughs> take two. Because Crayola never writes. Includes every. Includes everything you need. <laughs> but more often than not, they not only include everything you need. They always add something extra, like a random paintbrush. And you're like, I don't even have paint in here. <laughs> the box says shape, decorate, and wear. So I am very excited about the decorating part. But enough jibba jabba. Time to see what we get inside. What we get inside three packs of model magic clay in the colors of biscuit <laughs> biscuit <laughs> no we're not eating it no white whoa, 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 white, white. <laughs> and brown we get three markers in red blue and purple that we don't know what we need this for no idea especially the actual clay itself is colored it's not like they colored on it after because it looks like the clay itself has the color in it so my theory is that we're going to use the actual markers to paint the white and then mix it together. Ah, that's my theory because the instructions tell us nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. None. No. We we'll also get two containers in order to put our charms. So technically they only want you to do two charms for $10. Then googly eyes. And the chain. We get pink glitter. Two plasticky type papers as play mats, I'm guessing. A circle mold. Cutter. 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 <laughs> Cutter. <laughs> And then we probably get the laziest bit of instructions. All it says is shape, decorate, wear. and wear. It does say that the bag doesn't come included, so I'm pretty disappointed. No. <laughs> Where's my $30 backpack? Seriously. <laughs> but as you can see, these instructions really don't tell us any technique how to get swivels or turns or anything like they really make the assumption that whoever's getting this already has some kind of technique in order to make even the clay type of drizzle on top which is kind of an advanced technique for people who've never done it before i've never done it so this is gonna be fun it's not advanced advanced it's gonna be interesting i'm sure you'll be able to do it because you're smart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they also do say that there is a video that we can watch on their website although when we went on it there is no video yes so as you can see here here, this is the website. This is what we're supposed to search. Uh oh, she getting real. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we are on Crayola.com forward slash crafts. And when I search the actual name of the craft kit that they, oh, oh, okay, here we go. I'm looking for food charms, which says food charms for video instructions in more detail. Here we go. Search, it brings us straight to this kit. Let's scroll through all the pictures. There's not a single bit of instruction, not just that. But when we scroll down, there's no video. Open description, it talks about it. Open features, it talks about it. You might also like this. And if you keep going all the way down, we have a review, no videos. Who is it that said we get instructions in more detail without actually telling us what these markers are for and didn't make the video or didn't didn't keep the website. Did you check for food charms? Yes. What about if you try for garbage? <laughs> Savage. I love it. Yeah. Honestly, companies, if you're going to say that a video is available and you're not going to keep it on your website, at least make an inventory on YouTube of videos of your product. Be consistent. I tried. I went on YouTube and I clicked Crayola Food Charms. Nothing. Nothing came up. I'll do a little more research just in case it's very obscure, but come on, Crayola. I'm going to guess that we're going to color our clay with these markers. That's, That's gonna all be I can so guess. It's going to be weird. It's going to be very weird. And it's going to like stain our hands and stuff. We're going to try anyways because they're washable. Got it. So the first thing we want to try is whether or not we can color the white with the markers. Because again, that's the only hint. I wonder if it's already dry. Ah. No. Ooh. By the way, they don't give us any resealable bags. So what we have here is you have to go and find your own resealable bags. When I say you have to go find your own no, resealable bags, I'm not I mean doing... Sika. No. It looks go. Like, it looks like you need. It looks like go you... find. How does it feel? It doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> I feel like there's anger build up here. <laughs> We're gonna get a resealable bag because we don't want it looks this like to go nougat. back. Can I eat it? No, child! Stop it! What? <laughs> All right, so Sika did go to the kitchen and bring a Ziploc. All of them are in here. Did you just come back with a snack? You think I was gonna go to the kitchen and not grab food? <laughs> At least you grabbed an apple this time. 
<laughs> she had a bag of chips. <laughs> All right, so here is the white clay while Sika is snacking, and I'm going to go ahead and mm. color it, and then mix it up, and hope that the actual piece of clay keeps, absorbs it. Yeah, hopefully it absorbs it and it keeps the color. It's water-based, so it should be okay. So let's find out. Okay, so it is getting slightly more colored, but not very much. All right, I'm going to keep adding and mixing and adding and mixing until it gives us a proper shade. So we're currently at our sixth level and we're hoping really to get to this shade of purple because this is not colored on top. You can tell because of how even the color is and how it's actually in the crevices. If this was colored on top, we wouldn't have the purple underneath it. So Sika is going to keep going until the clay either disintegrates or until we get a proper shade. Just don't go too far, all right Sika? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make the base for the donut with our gorgeous brats. Crayola, don't give no instructions. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. We could go for quite a while. Just That's the Crayola song. Figure it out. Figure it out. No. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so to make the donut, I just made a little button, put it inside the cutter, and then push the hole in with one of the markers. All right, now that we have our donut base, Sika, how many layers did you put of the color? 14. Okay, so 14 layers, and this is the aim of the purple we're getting. Not bad. Pretty close. Pretty close. It's a little on the pastel-y side, but I highly doubt, unless we start ruining the clay because it's water, that we can get this color here. Yeah, I don't here. think it's gonna happen. I think this is just an original color as opposed to using the markers. So let's go ahead, flatten it, and make our frosting. And the process for the frosting is really straightforward. You just take your clay, flatten it, place it on top, Pretty much it, it. That's pretty much it. You can that's make a little tiny hole again with the marker. All right, now since we have the glitter glue over here, my guess is that the googly eyes can only stick on once we do that, so. You look weird. Oh, whoa, watch your mouth. You don't judge people with googly eyes. I wanna try. <laughs> She calls me weird, and then she proceeds to do the exact same thing. Yeah, but we're siblings, so it's normal. Ow, my eyeball! <laughs> you look weird. <laughs> I told you! <laughs> Alright, it's so time to drizzle that shindoozle. Sh what the hell am I saying? <laughs> no! <laughs> you wanna put some? Just a swivel. Ah, what are you doing? You said swivelly! I'm pretty sure the eyes on the packaging are a lot bigger than what they gave us. Wait! Are they for What? So the googly eyes on the packaging is actually on the outside yeah. of the box. So it's... <gasps> yeah, you're right. It's on the outside. The Yo. googly eyes don't go on the charm. But you know what Crayola says? The Crayola song? Figure it out. Mm -mm. Figure it out. Mm -mm. Not my problem. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna remove this and put it on the outside. Oh no, it's ruined. Keep it on. No, we're gonna do this the Crayola way. And there goes the Izies on the outside. One Izies? And the two Izies. Two uh, Izies. Uh, yeah, I was gonna uh, do the same thing. Like, ah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> So Sika and I want to make sure that these pieces actually fit on the inside of the boxes. So uh, here- So far it does not look like it fits. these. We don't know. We're gonna find out. So we're gonna flatten this little buddy. Use the cutter. All right. And now we're going to fit it. Oh, it doesn't fit. It's crooked. Because if this hardens, it won't be flexible. So it kind of is gonna be crooked like this. And if you do any kind of frosting, which is pretty much it's what gonna we did, it, thick. it will not fit. You have to make it significantly smaller than the actual sized cutter that they gave you. Two hours later. So here it is a couple of hours later and the glue doesn't even hold its shape. Look at it droop. Look at that. That's gross. It's gonna stick to the paper. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And two days later, this is what our voluptuous glue finally ends up looking like. Gross, droopy, and um, very uninspiring. So now the question is, is it worth it or does it go in the trash? I don't think it goes in the trash. I think it goes in the trash. I'll explain why. Sika, first let's hear what you have to say. Well, I guess it's skeptical for me. I think they could fix the issue if they actually made instructions that made sense. Because they kind of just went like, meh, on the instructions. So someone like me that doesn't do many crafts, 
I wouldn't know that you can actually color the white clay. So I think if they were to be more detailed on it, it could be worth it in my opinion. Whereas for me, I think that you can buy Model Magic for much cheaper on Amazon. It's, as you can see, it's under five or under six dollars. Pick up the markers at the dollar store and there you go. You have a way cheaper kit that will keep you much busier and you will have a greater variety of colors that you actually want to use. But you don't have the charmy thingy. Nope, but you could probably also pick that up at the dollar store. Uh, charm box? Nope, no charm box. So... I guess if you really want the charm and you're really stuck to give someone a gift, skeptical cash. Hmm. But still for me... In the trash! I don't know about you, Grains, but recently I feel like, other than groceries, 90% of my shopping is online. And that's where today's sponsor comes in, Honey. For those of you who don't know, Honey is a free, yes you heard, free, browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and tests them out while you're checking out. It's basically your best buddy because it helps you save money. Oh, that rhymed. I like that. <laughs> Here's how it works. You get Honey for free for your computer with two easy clicks. And then when you're checking out and they have, let me tell you grains, 30,000 supported sites, Honey is going to pop up and let you know that there are coupon codes. All you have to do is make sure that you click on apply codes. In my case, the most recent purchase I did was I kind of splurged on My Little Pony figurines at Mighty Jack's and Honey was able to find a coupon code to help me save close to $8. Otherwise, I just kind of would have checked out anyways, but it saved me money. It's really that simple. It'll work with any browser as long as you have a computer. So go ahead and get Honey for free by going to joinhoney.com forward slash nerdy crafter. That's joinhoney.com forward slash nerdy crafter. That way they know that I sent you. Thanks Honey for sponsoring this video. Our next absolute victim. I'm not correcting myself this time. Silly Putty Nuggets Mixin Lab. I didn't nuggets. know. I said we will get you food later. You had a snack. But I'm hungry now. Later. Oh, okay, let's go. I'll see you greens later. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I had no idea that Crayola made some kind of silly putty. So for me, this is absolutely new. When I saw this on, on the website and it said Crayola, I was like, that doesn't it look doesn't like- It doesn't look like it. Is there proof on the box? Yes, if you turn the box around, you're going to see that really tiny, Crayola. it says Crayola. I wonder why. But let's get back to the front of the box. Hmm. Nothing says a good craft kit like absolutely photoshopped frontage. That so, chicken looks like it's losing its mind. No, that chicken looks absolutely like you. I feel like this chicken is Sika's spirit animal. Is this edible? <laughs> oh my god, I thought it was glasses for real. I was like, this is my eye. <laughs> But when we turn also the box around, we can see the different kinds of glitter and beads and sand, apparently, that we can mix with the putty. What are you laughing at? I'm trying to see, but the camera down here is in the way. Thank you. It feels like a slime mixing station, but they're using putty instead so that they don't say it's slime, so that means it's just harder slime. Usually you can bounce putty. Oh, can you? Yeah, like a Super Bowl. We'll have to try it. All right, time to see what we get inside. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. Primary colors of putty. We're going to test the putty later on, but technically this is what we get. We get six little egg containers like this. White putty base, I guess. Yes. We get some beads, they feel foamy. Pretty much the same ones that they use in slime. We get trashy glitter. Oh, it's really big glitter. It's very huge. It says it's sand, but I'm convinced it's salt. Oh. Ooh, I would have laughed if it was actually I would have cried if it was. I, I would have probably cried a little bit too because I'm gonna get that right into my contacts. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and that's not very comfortable. No, I put a little too much trust in Crayola here. And last but not least, we get the instruction guide. For those of you who don't remember, last week we did a STEAM science science math engineering Crayola kit. We'll leave a link for that down below. And it did say that it was a science-y type kit. However, it was just color, color theory. theory and they sold it for a premium price. However, in here, it actually talks about color theory and shows you how to mix them. So I find that so far, if this kit works, it's more of a steam kit than steam. the other one. Yeah. So let's feel some putty, Sika. Okay. What do you want to try first? Red. Oh. Ah, what's wrong with it? I don't know. Is it dry? No. Okay. Oh. Oh. It looks like taffy. Oh. Are you that hungry? Like, is everything either nugget or taffy or food? So my worry was that this would be dry, but it's actually really flexible. And you said you can bounce it, right? Usually, yeah. Do you want to try? Gentle, okay? Yeah. Told okay, you. that's really cool. You didn't know that? No. 
You used to always buy me plenty. That's what I did with it usually. <laughs> you bounced it. Yeah. Okay, you open this one. I'll open the blue one. Okay. Oh, that is a really deep blue. It's a nice blue. And it smells like absolutely nothing. <clears throat> you okay? You're choking on your chips. It was spicy, yeah, isn't it? it's spicy. I went and tickled my tongue. So my here's... tongue, my tongue. <laughs> it tickled my tongue. Grains, I have no idea what to do with this. So the blue is very nice. And this is the blue. So the colors are really absolutely vibrant. I actually like this a lot. But they don't keep their shape. So if you thought that you can keep it as a ball, it's not going to stay there. I think it will, no? Oh no, no it doesn't. No, it just got flat. No, no, you're you right. See? Yeah, of course I'm right. <sighs> All right, so we're going to see if the colors mix well. I'm going to go ahead and make purple. purple. I'm gonna make some green. So I'm taking this much and I'm gonna mix it. You gonna mix it? I'm gonna mix it. Mix it. Oh, mix it really that, that's fast. Oh my God, Jackie, you tainted it and you tried to hide it? She tainted it. Okay, okay, hang on. I'll tell you green Look something. Look at it. It's not me. Wait, I need color. Okay, <laughs> it's not you. It's not me. So what happened is I was putting this on the desk. I just kind of put them next to each other and they touched like that. So I tried to remove them. So they kind of touched a little bit and then I tried to remove it and this happened. So I just kind of, she said I contaminated. It was not on purpose. Contamination. No. So this is mine. These are the two colors. Yeah, let's see what kind of green you're getting. Cause my purple wow. is a really wow. deep purple. You see how quickly it that changes? That was crazy. It literally feels like melted airheads. I know, right? You are so hungry, child. <laughs> I'm always hungry. Okay, that is really pretty. pretty. Yeah. So my purple is really deep purple. Yeah. And that's probably because the blue they gave us, it's very, very deep blue. So it's a dark blue. However, we can lighten it by using, using a white, right? Yeah. So let's try that. Green. Very nice. Very, very nice. And here comes the white putty base. I'm going to add a little bit of the white to the purple to see how light or pastel we can get. That is a really nice green. I know. I love it. I love it too. So here's the amount of white I'm putting to my purple and let's find out how purple this really is because it kind of does look brown. And Sika is going to make her green lighter. So let's go ahead and see what we get. In my case, it didn't make much of a difference. So instead, I'm going to take a pea size and put it on a bigger piece of white. Sika? It lightened it just a little bit. Oh, so shit. this to that. Oh. We ain't joking. So this is the pastel deep purple that we get. I really would have loved if they added a cyan instead of the deep blue. So that way we could have gotten more of a color range. So. <laughs> you didn't even wait for me to tell them what you were doing. Sika wanted to try the beads. Ah, the brown On there. Let's just squish <gasps> it in. Do your thing. Here, hold this. Hold my beads. Hold my beads. Ah, it jumps out. Well, it feels so weird. I've never tried these beads before. It's styrofoamy. Yeah, I like them. Is it kind of sensory? On. <sighs> Don't push my head. Child. Chuck. Ah. <laughs> they do jump. It's kind of like popcorn. We both decided not to use the, the sand, but we're gonna go ahead and use this trashy glitter. There you go. Oh, that is kind of pretty though. Ooh. Right? Ah! <laughs> Everything is just popping right out. So yeah, I think it's because it's so dry that it doesn't absorb it. So every time you go to squish it, there's a lot of them that end up coming out. Like, see? Yeah, it's very similar to how slime and beads behave. However, this here feels nice. Here, try this. It's, it's rejecting them. <laughs> Here, try that. Give me this. But it does feel nice. Oh yeah, it does feel cool. Right? Yeah. I think I think this feels good. Yeah. And when you're done, you could just put them in the containers that they give you. So did we have fun? Yes. Was it easy to understand? Yes. However, is it worth your cash? No. Nah. For us, I feel like 17, was it 17 or 16? $17. 17. I told you. At $17, it seems like quite the hefty hmm. price ha. for a putty kit, but I do think it is fun. I feel like this could be more or less around 10 bucks. Yeah, I think 10 bucks seems about reasonable. I, it's a lot more affordable and you're getting very little for $17 in my opinion. So 10 bucks, I think it would be definitely worth it. Except for this, they do give quite a bit of that. A sizable amount. Yeah. So anywhere between 10 and 14. Well, I was gonna say 10 to 12. Yeah, 10 to 12 bucks. Then it would be skeptical cash at this point. Under that price, then it would be worth your cash. <laughs> Next we have Crayola Signature, which is their, their premium type of it kit. It sounds very French. Signature, it's a French. Super. C'est très super. Super. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> shadow box art. I am a huge fan of shadow box art. For those of you who don't know, it is absolutely beautiful kind of 3D art inside a frame. One of my favorites are video game types and they're building like an environment on the inside. Oh, I've you seen those. Right. Yeah. We, ha we have them. It's, it's downstairs. Yeah. I'm like, 
<laughs> so I'm excited to try my own first shadow box art. I feel like I would prefer doing a video game one, but let's just go with it and see what we get because me and video games is big. I love video games. And again, I know that this project was most likely in the subscription box. Don't quote me on this, but I'm not sure. In the back, we can see all the different materials that we get, and it looks like we do get the entire frame and different kinds of pigments and glues. And yes, I think Sika left because there's a brush. Yes. <laughs> you really like those brushes, don't you? They're always bad brushes though, too. Very flexible and very flimsy. But mm. since this is signature, <laughs> I'm expecting them to be good. But time to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Six colors of pearlescent paint. We get templates for the background shapes in circle, heart, and diamond. Glue with a with a squeezy toffee. And we also get a frame, but, 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 but. Uh, it seems to be very loose. What? Is that broken? Yeah, I think so. Oh no. Wait, it's plastic. Oh, oh no. <gasps> oh, this is broken and it's plastic. Priella? Why? Why you gotta do us The like other this? one doesn't do that. Look at that, the other one. Firm. This one is broken. Is broken. The frame looks dirty too. And cracked. Oh, oh. there's a major crack over here and, and another, another one, one there. down there. And over here, it's slightly Bubbled. bubbling. So much for signature. I'm very disappointed. Do you want to hear uh, something that's a little on a better note? Yeah. We we have a brush that has of quality. Really, a yeah. quality brush. Yeah. It's slightly bending. But like, touch the tip. <laughs> Do you want to touch the tip? This is usually the first thing I touch. Huh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the brush. Yeah, it does feel good nice. Quality for once. It's so rare. However, interestingly enough, the instructions never mention the paintbrush. No, they do say that it's there, but they don't say to use it. No, according to their instruction, everything is pretty squeezable. So yeah, exactly. So um, we still always get that extra paintbrush that we never know yeah, what it's for. But at least this one's functional that we can actually use instead of being like, "What is it for?" Well, it's garbage, anyways. <laughs> Why did you stab me with a brush? And there she goes again. Uh, okay, just ew, 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 she licked me. <laughs> Gross. So, ew. I remember that time you pinned me on the bed. Okay, don't air out our dirty laundry. <laughs> I think the grains have heard enough. If you want to hear more dirty laundry, you can follow us on the vlog channel. <laughs> you can also follow us on Instagram. It comes up regularly. <laughs> it does. You grains pick out some popcorn. So. Yeah, always. I really love the packaging of the acrylic paint. It's very simple, but it looks premium. Now the question is, is it? Is it? Yeah. So let's do a couple of swatches. And yes, we got to do the stabby stabby. The stabby stabby. Oh. Why are you having so there. much trouble? Ah! There. <laughs> Here's the pearlescent cobalt blue. Pearlescent white. Oh, oh wow. that was liquidy. That's gorgeous. Violet. Oh, that's pretty. Golden yellow. Oh, wow. That is really liquidy. Magenta. It's odd because some are liquidier than others. And the last one is emerald. Color is really pretty. Yeah. And so this project seemed pretty straightforward enough. And all we have to do is fold it in the opposite direction of where the shape is, add little dots of paint wherever we want. It kind of reminds me of ink blots where it kind of has the opposite colors on, on either end, but they show that you can put colors on both sides. Afterwards, we fold it. You sandwich it. You sandwich it. Of course, she's gonna make it food related. Yeah. <laughs> and then we let it dry. So we're doing, again, two designs, letting them dry completely, apparently in 15 minutes. And now it's just time to glue it together. So now the question is, what do we think about this shadow box art Crayola kit? And the answer is, I think it's worth it. However, but if the frame wasn't broken, that'd be a very good plus. <laughs> exactly. I think since the frame is the majority, majority of the value in this box and it arrived broken and cracked, 
I'm not too pleased about it. However, the activity itself is definitely worth it. Yeah, but it was fun. It was relaxing. It was colorful. It was very colorful. <laughs> but, 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 but. In its current condition, I would say it goes in the trash. So out of three kits again, we have another one that goes in the trash. I would recommend <laughs> Jackie from the future here. I think I'm going to want to change my verdict and say that this is going in the trash. Simply because they really don't give us any guides. I had a little more time to think about it. It's just no, just no, absolutely as soon as you get it open it check if it's broken bring it back immediately so don't even leave the parking lot the parking lot or even if you get it from Amazon double check immediately so that you can return it if it's broken I don't know if it's a pattern knowing Crayola though <laughs> I'm still really pleased with the brush, to be honest, though. Like, that's the bar's low. Yeah, even though they didn't tell us anything, it seems like using the brush for the outside to decorate is definitely a thing. Mm. So, uh, out of uh, six Crayola kits, five went in the trash. Crayolas, they're on a roll. They're on a roll. They're on a roll. So, Crayola, this is for you. <laughs> Don't forget to add me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to find Sika, you can find her at nerdysister underscore Sika on Instagram. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a customization, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.